The second kind of habitats that we will be reviewing is the deserts. When we say deserts, the first thing come come to my come to our minds is the hot weather with sandy uh, floor. Actually, deserts can be in two different kinds. Can be the hot sandy desert and the cold snowy desert. The cold snowy deserts we call them the Arctic. So we will be we will be reviewing these two now. You can watch the videos 3.1 and 3.2 about desert animals and the Arctic animals and read the pages that you see over here. Now, choose the correct word from the box to fill in the blanks. You have cacti, which is the plural of cactus, cool, dry, hot, very little, and sandy. As you can see in this picture, this is a desert simply because you can see the sand uh, found all over the place. You, fee you see few plants, mainly they are the cacti, and the soil. It's sandy and rocky. You see pieces of rocks also. And the weather over here is hot during the daytime and cool during night time. And as you can see, the sand is very dry because in desert it doesn't rain so much. The first sentence, a hot desert is a blank place that gets blank rain. So, how is the place over there? It gets, let's solve the rain first. Do you think we have plenty of rain or very little rain? So we will have very little rain in hot desert. And this makes it a dry place. So it does, a hot desert is a dry place. And that gets very little rain. The second sentence, it is what during the day and what at night. So how is the weather during the day? It is hot during daytime and during nighttime it is cool the temperatures they drop now sentence c the soil is blank and rocky so how is the soil you can see pieces of rocks and it is mainly sandy and the last question plants like what grow in hot desert so examples of plant of desert plants they are the cacti which is the plural of cactus. Talking about the cactus, we will read the phrases found in these circles and we need to decide which phrase corresponds to the cactus or actually it describes the cactus. Has a spines. Look, if we look at the cac of the cacti found in this picture, we, ha we see spines covering all, all the plant. So actually the cactus has a spines that they will protect it from the thirsty animals. So we will match it. Has a smooth leaves. Of course they are not smooth simply because we, they have a spines. If you touch them they will hurt you. So we will not match the circle with the picture. Can store water. When a plant lives in a very dry place it doesn't have water all of the time that's why when it rains even for a few days this kind of plant can absorb all of the rainwater and store it in its body especially in its stem so the the cactus can store water so does the cactus have shallow roots or deep roots for the cactus to, to take the biggest amount of water found in the soil, it needs, it needs to have deep roots. Now, do you think if you look at this, pick, uh, this cactus and, and basically the stem, is the stem thick or thin? It needs to be thick simply because to store the biggest amount of water. Now, the third exercise. We need to look at these pictures of animals. As you can see, we have a rabbit having large ears. We call them jackrabbit. And 
uh, we have a snake we have a scorpion and we have a lizard as you can see their colors they are all brown to beige they are very pale colors and all of them ha have the ability to survive in a very dry place and the special thing about them is that that they, because of the hot weather during daytime they prefer to sleep when the sun comes up and when it's night they woke up and they go and hunt for food so let's read each sentence and decide whether it is true or false animals that live in the hot desert need to survive without drinking a lot of water we all know that the hot desert has very little amount of rain that's why the animals over there they need to survive without drinking a lot of water so the sentence is correct now cows sheep cows sheep and parrots live in the hot desert so cows and let's take the cows and sheep cows and sheep they need grass to eat and we all know that in a hot desert the grasses are not found that's why they cannot live in the hot desert same for the parrot so this sentence is false hot desert animals have very bright colors to camouflage with the surrounding so here very bright colors look at the animals they are not red they are not pink they are not uh, blue they are very pale colors and not bright colors at all so this is false hot desert animals sleep during the day and come out at night when it is cooler that's totally correct because during the day the weather is hot and during the night it is cool so they prefer to go or to hunt in cool night so this one is true jackrabbits have long ears and pale colored body that help them stay cool so look at this jackrabbit these large ears they help them to give off the heat found in their body so in this way they can survive in hot desert so this one is true now we will solve exercises about the cold desert by which we call it the arctic i will show you now pictures about the arctic as you can see snow covers most of the place we have very short plants simply because imagine if we have tall tall trees the tall trees will directly die because of the cold wind and the arctic which is the cold desert is found in the north pole as you can see this is the earth and this is the, the north pole and the ground is frozen it's not grassy it's not dry it's frozen so let's circle the correct choice for each question the cold desert is located in the north pole in the south pole or in africa so let's look again at this picture see this arrow it's pointing at the arctic so it's found in the north pole number two the cold desert is called arctic or woodland so what's the other word for cold desert it is the arctic the ground is grassy dry or frozen so look because it's extremely cold over there the ground will be frozen the desert animals or the cold desert animals i will show you now these pictures as you can see and we will need to we need to decide each animal if it belongs to the arctic habitat or it doesn't we will start with the reindeer as you can see the snow covers all of the place and this animal has very thick fur and this enables it to survive in the cold areas and it helps it to stay war warm and as you can see the legs they are very strong and they can walk through snow so definitely this animal belongs to the arctic habitat now the frog as you can see it is colorful and we studied that colorful animals belong to another habitat which is the tropical rainforest so the this frog cannot live in the arctic plant so i will put it in the column 
of does not belong. Now, if we look at the mouse, mouse cannot live in the Arctic. It lives in the desert, the hot desert. So I will put it over here in the column which is does not belong. The wireless, as you can see, it has thick layers of fat, which we call them the blubbers. So this is the wireless. It has layers of fat called the blubber. And this help it to stay alive in the cold areas. So it belongs to the cold desert. Now the camel, we all know that the camel is found in the hot desert and not in the cold desert. So I will put it next to the frog and the mouse. And the last one, which is the polar bear, it's white, it has thick fur, and it is able to live between the ice and snow. So it belongs to the Arctic habitat.